Royal Take of Approval. Gospel group who performed at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding will sing a John Farnham classic ahead of Invictus Games' closing ceremony. They impressed royal fans when they performed at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding back in May. And now the gospel group that performed a rendition of Stand By Me at the nuptials, the Kingdom Choir, are set to take on an Australian classic. According to News Corp, the group will include their take of John Farnham's You're the Voice. On their debut record, it comes as the group prepare to perform at the closing ceremony of the Invictus Games on Saturday. Conductor Karen Gibson said the group chose the song to mark their upcoming performance down under. When we got invited to sing at the Invictus Games, our manager suggested we sing a song the Australian people might like and that was the one, Karen said. Karen added how great it was to work with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex on their rendition of Stand By Me for the wedding saying the couple would make changes to the song every now and then. It was reported that the song sung at the wedding was the twelfth arrangement by the choir and the couple. Each time we would send a version, they would suggest changes to make it more stripped back and the royal couple were spot on with their decision, she said. She added about their pair, I am a fan, I really am, I love the fact they are down to earth. They are human. Harry and pregnant Meghan, 37 are currently in Fiji as part of an official royal visit, with Meghan showcasing her baby bump in an elegant blue dress at a black tie reception on Tuesday. Fiji is the latest stop on Harry and Meghan's 16-day tour which will see them also travel to New Zealand, Tonga and then back to Australia. Earlier this week, a spectator at an Invictus Games event in Sydney commented to Prince Harry, 34, that they hope the couple welcome a daughter, with Harry agreeing. In a candid moment captured on camera, a bystander was heard shouting, Congratulations, I hope it's a girl, to which Harry responded, So do I. Comments from the father-to-be this week suggest the couple do not yet know the gender of their unborn baby. Kensington Palace confirmed the baby news last week, just hours after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex touched down in Sydney for their first major international tour since their wedding in May. A Kensington Palace said, their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Their Royal Highnesses have appreciated all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public.